Ha for day employers, and welcome to your guided tour of HireGuam.com. In this video series, we will go over how to sign up, how to post job openings, and how to manage your employer account. Let's get started by creating an account. Click on Sign In. Then on the next page, scroll down to Employers and Agents and click on the link. Next, choose whether you are the direct representative of the organization or a third-party agent. For this example, we'll choose Direct Representative, and then hit Next at the bottom. Now, you either need your employer ID number or your Social Security number. We'll choose Social Security for this example. Enter twice to confirm, then hit Continue at the bottom. Now we create our username, password, and enter information about our company. Create a username with 3 to 20 characters. You can use a few special characters, such as the plus sign, at symbol, period, or underscore. We've put in, for example, Guam, period, Inc. Now it's time to create our password. It must be 8 to 18 characters long and must have an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, a number, and a special character. Enter the password again and let the system tell you if it's weak or strong. Now choose a security question in case you get locked out. We'll go with pet's name. And we've put in rubber. Now it's time to enter information on the business. For our company name, we'll use Guam Incorporated. For zip code, we'll use Hagatnya Guam. Then wait for the primary and location information menu to pop up and fill that in. We'll go ahead and use the address for our American Job Center. 710 Marine Corps Drive, Hagatnya Guam, 96910. If your mailing address is the same, you can just check mark this box right here. If it's different, go ahead and enter it manually. Now we put in our contact info. Put in your job title, we'll use director, and then the main contact person's first and last name. We'll go with Jane Cruz, and your information, including your phone number. Any other contact information, such as alternate number, fax number, you can also input, as well as your email address. And then choose how you would like to receive notifications. We'll go ahead and put internal message. If entering a website, remember to put http colon forward slash forward slash before the web address. For our purposes, we'll just leave that blank. Now we select our NAICS industry code. To do this, you can do a simple search. I'm going to go ahead and search for manufacturing. And we'll just go with other basic organic chemicals. Now we pick our company size. We're a small business, so I'll put one to four. Type of employer, we'll go ahead and pick private sector. And then the next question, you can answer whether or not you are a federal contractor. Then when you scroll down to the company profile, here is where you can put the description job seekers will see when they review your company. Include keywords, your major productions and services, and other information you would like them to know about your business. After that, you can opt to check a special characteristic about your company. We'll check off Woman Owner. Next, you can easily show what benefits your company offers by checking boxes on the provided list. We'll pick Medical, Dental, and Uniform Allowance. If you have additional benefits not listed, you can include them in the space provided at the bottom. If you have a written affirmative action plan, you can check this box here. Now we do the CAPTCHA to prove we are human. And then hit save. And there we go! You have just created your employer account. Congratulations! Now we can get started on filling your job openings. For more information, visit the Guam Department of Labor website at dol.guam.gov.